What's going on guys? Zuko back with another Dragonflight video. Hope you're all doing very, very well. We're just going to do a little quick video on Survival Hunter. My sort of first impressions on getting into Season 3 with Survival Hunter. I haven't been able to spend too much time on this thing yet, but I do have the two-piece, the new two-piece. So I'm currently rocking 2 plus 2, okay, Season 2 tier set and Season 3 tier set. And I think that it's worth doing this if you're just coming back to the game, if you're playing Survival Hunter, it is actually worth doing 2 plus 2 until you get the new 4 set. It is absolutely worth it. Um, the old 2 set was pretty good. Wildfire Bomb getting more damage, and then you get the 40% more kill command damage. And then, remember, they baked in the 40% more Wildfire Bomb damage baseline now. It just It just does more damage baseline now, if we look at it here. Oh, that's infusion. Where's my bomb? There it is. Shrapnel bomb. So, um, deals 40% increased damage to the primary target. That was an old tier bonus. It's just baseline now. So, that's good. Old tier set bonus is good. The new tier set bonus gives you the 15% crit window with Fury of the Eagle. And I talked about this in another video, um, talking about exactly how you want to uh, layer your different abilities. So you want to start out with something like Death Chakram into an explosive shot. Probably want to dump your bombs and then go into a Fury of the Eagle. But you want your explosive shot detonating inside the Fury of the Eagle window so that you can get as much chance to get a critical strike with that explosive shot as possible. Okay. Very, very important. Um, so yeah, 2 plus 2 is really, really good, I think, right now. Obviously, getting to the 4 set is what you want to do. Season 3 4 set is really, very good. If you're a returning player just coming back, I just want to highlight once again that there's a lot of cool stuff you can do in, in the open world. Time Rifts offer you really, really good gear. Right now, I have this trinket. I upgraded it all the way to 450, um, and you can go get this right now if you're like a brand new character. This trinket in particular is actually nuts. I, I think it's very, very good. Not even necessarily that good as a survival hunter. It's probably good on other melee specs, but it says your melee attacks and abilities have a chance to king strike your target. Look what this thing did. The active ability, which is the war strikes, uh, did 2.5%. The king strike is the passive ability. That did 1.8. Together, it did 4.3% um, of my damage, right? It's very good for a trinket. If you're talking about how much damage trinkets can do, 4.3% is actually very good. Um, unless you're talking about like some high-end raid trinket, which is kind of ridiculous. But yeah, if you're a brand new character or player coming back into the game, go do a time rift and go do a dream surge. These things, these abilities both, uh, sorry, these events, I'm sorry, both offer very, very good gear for characters that are just coming back into the game. So right now we're 448 with 2 plus 2. That's what we've got right now. And I just did an Atal Dazar. I'll just show you this really quickly. Again, this isn't... Um, there's not a whole lot going on here. Like, again, I want to do more videos on Survival Hunter once we really get going with our gear. So, again, we I king striked early there. I'm messing it all up. We got to do some more videos here. But you want to always start out with your uh, Death Chakram into a Fury of the Eagle because that gives you your 15% crit bonus, right? The window. And that's going to make everything have a chance to crit. A higher chance to crit, which is really, really good. My crit right now is something like 30%. So I'm going up to 45%. You can very easily get, you know, 35, 36% baseline crit and have a 50% crit chance on everything once you press Fury of the Eagle. So that's really good. Fury of the Eagle also has its own crit scaling, right? Because of Ruthless Marauder, you're able to have increased critical strike chance on enemies that are below a certain health threshold. So basically, think about it this way. If enemies are at 65% of their max health and you press Fury of the Eagle, you're going to be critting with Fury of the Eagle. Literally every every hit from Fury of the Eagle is going to be critting. Now, this this tank was pulling. I didn't realize he was going to pull this. Usually you don't pull this on a Tal Dazar, but he decided to. Um, so I kind of messed up my window. And then we really mess up these domes, the friggin' damage reduction domes, get they nobody stuns them, nobody kicks them. Kind of frustrating experience. So I try to knock it back with my explosive trap there, my high explosive trap, but um, it kind of all gets turned sideways. It's just the way it is. But I do want to show you that the damage on this thing is actually really high. 
I don't I don't have a new weapon. I don't have any gear yet at all except for the two piece bonus. That's literally all I have. So the damage from this thing is exceptional, especially when you're polymorph. That's when you're doing the most damage. I actually pressed Fury of the Eagle before I get polyed here. Does it keep going off? It did actually. <laughs> the channel actually finished, even though I was a friggin' frog, which is pretty hilarious. Um, but yeah, the damage from this thing is actually quite high. And uh, I think it's just good to... The, the state of Hunter right now, people are talking about BM Hunter being really OP. They just got a nerf on uh, Wowhead. I was reading it last night on stream. So they got an AoE nerf, primarily BM Hunter did. But like nobody looks at Survival Hunter. Nobody touches Survival Hunter because nobody ever thinks that this thing is good. Like any season that you're playing the game, and I don't know why. People are just really stupid. And I love that it kind of works this way, that season to season blizzard like won't touch survival hunter they'll just leave it alone and quietly it'll just become one of the most the highest dps melee specs in the game it'll just become this like absolutely ridiculous monster of a spec but nobody will think it was because nobody there's not enough people playing it so it doesn't get enough attention hopefully me drawing attention to it won't uh, cause any problems here but I love how good this thing is. It's just pumping damage, guys. I'm telling you, the damage is crazy. I don't even have any gear yet. This boss, this was such a tragedy. Can we all appreciate how much of a tragedy this is? I start on this back totem, and I think to myself, okay, nobody's hitting the front totem. I'm going to go to the front totem. Nobody's helping this, so I'm going to start go up here, okay? Then I, I'm like, okay, now I need to go to the back totem because nobody's back there now, and I've DPS this one down, so now I don't know what's going on. Oh, the, the other hunter is doing the same thing. And then I king strike this thing. <laughs> Look at how much damage this trinket does. This was literally my fault. Watch this trinket. Look at the health on this thing. I press my trinket. Boom, 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 boom. And it dies. And then I'm like, Frag. Now I got to kill this. Please. And then the other one, they hadn't been killing this one. We literally spend like so long trying to get these totems down. And we keep messing it up over and over and over again. Oh my god, it was such a tragedy, guys. It was so bad. Look at this. Are you kidding me? This is like three minutes of us just like messing up the totems. I, I love it, man. It's so funny. Anyway, let's move on because that poll wasn't very good. Here's another poll. I do want to always highlight Hunter Utility. Don't sleep on Hunter Utility. I think people think that Hunters like are useless because they can't heal themselves and whatever the, the, the utility coming out of this spec is ridiculous whenever bulwark goes down you can use scatter shot to interrupt it so i use it right here oh no i don't i don't i use it on the next one sorry i had to prep my uh i, I thought that yeah i use it right here look at this bulwark scatter shot boom done not a problem anymore done baby you can also freezing trap which i do at the very end here even though it's kind of useless he does his little dome i drop an instant freezing trap as a survival hunter, you're in melee range. There's basically no travel time on your freezing trap. Boom, I drop it right there, and I stop him from doing his bulwark. So on this particular dungeon, if you have scatter shot and um, freezing trap, you can also high explosive trap to knock enemies out of the dome if you want to do it that way. You can also take intimidation as a stun instead of high explosive trap. That would be a much better thing to take, actually, on this dungeon. So it's really, really good. Watch this AoE damage. I've kind of done things correctly this time. I did my explosive shot, and I'm going to fit it into the Fury of the Eagle window. Here comes my damage. Boom, baby. We're just doing 200k right at, right there, 230. It's like the damage coming in a survival hunter is really good. I'm telling you guys, it's really strong. Um, I don't have any gear yet, and we're able to pump that kind of damage. It's going to be good. The one thing you're doing with the new tier set bonus that I actually enjoy is trying to reset the cooldown on fury of the eagle so i did it right here i get a green bomb and then i get a red bomb so i have my red bomb coming up right now i'm going to throw my pheromone bomb and then i'm just going to press kill command because i have nine seconds left on the cooldown of fury of the eagle you want to get fury of the eagle back kill command kill command kill command and then boom i'm back then i do my kill shot i do my fury of the eagle because if you do fury of the eagle you give yourself that crit window, 15% critical, critical strike chance and critical strike damage. Now I'm going to press my kill shot, which is going to hit three targets. Let's see if it crits here. There it goes. It crit over here and a crit right there. So that's what you're trying to do. 
You're trying to open up this crit window so that all of your other abilities that you're pressing can also benefit from that window. So getting the pheromone bomb up as much as possible to press kill command as much as possible to get the cooldown on Fury of the Eagle. That's the combo that you're going for. Watch my trinket. I use my trinket here on this poor little uh, Sorid guy. Watch this. Ding, 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 ding. And he's dead. <laughs> this trinket is so much fun for, like, just whacking down a priority target. I love it so much. Again, his Fury of the Eagle. So now, Fury of the Eagle's off cooldown. So now I press my Pheromone Bomb, and then I just kill command as much as I can. Unfortunately, it was off cooldown, so I actually mismanaged that. I get three kill commands in there to try and reduce the cooldown. But that's the that's the new cadence. Like, that's the new kind of play style that you're using with um, Fury of the Eagle. And the pheromone bomb, you're trying to cool down that that cooldown as much as you can. Cool down the cooldown as much as you possibly can. Because if you can do that, here's a great example of what we're doing. I'm gonna I'm I did pheromone bomb at the start of this. Sorry, I'm backtracking. Here's pheromone bomb right now. Bomb. Then I'm kill commanding. Guess what? My Fury of the Eagle is 15 seconds away. That's like four kill commands, and we're there. Watch this. One, two, three, and four. Now it's back. Now I'm ready to go. I have Death Chakram, Explosive Shot, Fury of the Eagle. Here we go. Death Chakram. I do Explosive Shot first. Oh, I forgot to do Death Chakram. I fucked it up. Never mind. It's 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 ruined. It's completely ruined. Forget about it. <laughs> but I still did 220k damage. I probably would have done 250k if I had done it right. So don't make the mistake that I did. But these are the combos that you can pull off now. And if you do it correctly, it ends up being an outrageous amount of damage. Um, here comes um, Alzuna? Alunza? Uh, I'm, I've trapped that. You can trap this guy, by the way, for any of you Hunter mains. You can freezing trap this guy, and you never have to deal with him, like, ever again. And the DH, uh, DK just pulled him in. It doesn't matter, but on higher keys, it actually would matter. If you had two Hunters, you could trap, I think, almost every single add while this fight's going on. On Tyrannical Week, it might not be possible as much because you're going to get multiple ad spawns, and then it's kind of a bit of an issue, but it didn't matter. On this low of a key... It literally doesn't matter at all. Transfusion goes out. She dies. That's the end of that noise. Now, we'll get to the... Uh, we'll get to the last boss. There we go. Yasma. Again, this time, I death chakram correctly. So, I do the combo correctly. You want to fit in a thing like your trinkets and your explosive shot and your fury of the... E you want to fit everything inside the fury of the eagle window if you can. I think I messed it up again, but... Explosive shot, death chakram. I should do Fury of the Eagle, but instead I do my trinket because I'm a moron. I just get trigger happy. I should have done Fury of the Eagle here to give me 15% more crit and then do my trinket, but I, I didn't. So just remember these little things. Tree, I keep mentioning it over and over again because if you do it right, your damage goes way up. If you do it wrong, your damage is kind of, you know, it's kind of mediocre at best. So we're still doing decent damage here for my item level. Like Hunter is just broken right now. I'm telling you guys. All three of the Hunter specs, I think, are completely broken right now. Survival Hunter especially is so crazy. It's so crazy, man. Like, I should not be doing this much damage at this low uh, of an item level, in my opinion, on single target. Certainly on single target. Here comes Fear of the Eagle window once again. And uh, boom, the boss is dead. So, very, very good. We'll look at our overall damage here. That is the dungeon over with. We did it in like 15 minutes or something. Because we're just pumping. I did 113k overall. So, again, we're 448. 448, and we're doing 113k overall. It's really good, guys. It's really, really good. My um, Serpent Sting, Cat of Ownage, that's my cat, obviously, doing kill commands, mostly. And I'm doing a lot more kill commands because I'm trying to reduce the cooldown of Fury of the Eagle because it's doing a lot of damage, and it's giving us this crit window. That's what it's going to look like right there for you. Now, um, yeah, that's it. I, I can't wait to get four-piece on this guy. I'll show you my talents really quick. Sorry, I should have showed that right away. I, I am running Bird to Prey. I am running Double Ruthless Marauder, of course. I don't think this is going to change. This is a very solid setup for you. I always run Hydra's Bite over Poison Injection, even on Tyrannical Weeks, and I think it's worth it because you get the extra Hydra's Bite, uh, the extra Serpent Stings on AoE packs, and you get 20% more Serpent Sting damage. That's why my Serpent Sting is so high. Serpent Sting is my top damage because I'm taking Hydra's Bite. So... Just do yourself a favor. Don't do poison ejections. You don't have to tab target and mongoose bite stuff all the time. Don't worry about that crap. Just take Hydra's Bite and do more damage, and you don't have to think about it mentally. You can focus on the other stuff, like pressing Fury of the Eagle, getting a Pheromone Bomb, and pressing Kill Command till your, till your 
eyes fall out of their sockets, and then you get the cooldown back, and you get to do it again. This cheer set bonus is really, really good. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. I will be getting a little bit more uh, time in on the Survival Hunter to try and make sure that I can get a four-piece by next week, maybe. We'll have to see how it goes um, because I really want to start experimenting with this thing and seeing how far I can push it. I think this thing is going to do so much damage once I get some gear under my belt. So let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Thank you so much again for watching. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one.